Hey everyone, our parenting in a pandemic tip for the day is about cultivating realistic gratitude. So before you shut me down, because you don't want to hear about it anymore, you're sick of hashtag gratitude, feeling kind of nauseated by the whole thing. Um, I'm, I am not about to bust into Mary Poppins tunes. I am not going to blow sunshine up your high knees. I am absolutely not talking about invalidating our very real feelings of fear or worry or loss about this genuinely tough stuff that's going on. We are just talking about resilience here. So how to um, cope with it, get through it in a way that is not going to drag us into a toxic place where it's going to come out self-destructively on ourselves or on other people who are very close to us right now, right? So remember that with anything, when we model it, um, when we model a coping tool for our kids that, and we guide them to learning it, it's, it's not just about helping them through this moment. We're helping them develop lifetime resilience for all of the tough things that, that they are gonna have to face in their lifetime, especially during adolescence when their brains are wiring um, particularly ripely and hardwiring their connections into adulthood. Because while this current crap storm will pass, I need to say that again, this current crap storm will pass, uh, life is inevitably going to keep on hurling future crap storms at all of us, particularly our kids that have longer to go, right? So coming back to this gratitude thing, is that what I encourage is some kind of a family ritual around just sharing out one thing that everybody is grateful for during the day. And so that could be at, at the dinner table, around a meal. It could be while you're all walking around the neighborhood, since lots of people seem to be doing that as a family now. Or it could be on that whiteboard on the fridge that used to have all of the complicated family schedule and now it's wiped clean. So everybody just shares out one thing every day that they are grateful for. And it could be about life in general that day or specifically something related to, you know, this whole virus that we're dealing with right now. So it could it could be something like um, grandma is doing okay or that it's not the dead of winter or that they rediscovered Yahtzee or got to sleep in or learned how to Zoom. So um, this remembering again that um, not only will it help them right now and help you all right now, but it will help them to strengthen that muscle of perseverance and resilience that is going to serve them for a lifetime for all the future crap storms. So peace, love, and strength to you all. Remember that um, we are gonna get through this because we are all in this together.